Vielen Dank. Okay, Hello, this is a video for my nine E and F groups for physics. <clears throat> and if you're just coming online, please let me know that you're there by saying hi, and I can uh, take roll. So as soon as you're there, please let me know that you're there. Ah, Micah, super. I'm going to write everybody down. So let me know you're here. I've got Micah already. So that's nine. F. Okay, Micah is here. All right, who else is here? I see four people. So Go ahead and tell me, and I will get everybody, get your roll taken here so you can see, you can earn some points here. Lena is here, good. Give me your last name because I have two classes as well. So Lena Zink is here. I've got Ben Defty is here. I've got Malek is here. I've got Lucy is here. I've got, yeah, uh, Amir is here. Good. Interesting, I've got no 9E, I've got only 9F so far, but that's the way it is. Noah is here, Muriel is here. Okay, I've got Noah Delfs. I've got Muriel is right there. Oh, I got a bunch of you. Okay, I'm hurrying to take rope. Christian, Christian is there. Okay, I've got Dominic is there. I've got Kira is there. I've got Magdalena is there. And I've got Lee is there. I've got Santiago is there. I've got Tony is there. And Natalie is there. Good. I'm going to just glance at the list, make sure I've got everybody started. Good. Any new people, please say hello. And in a couple minutes, we will start up with uh, some physics. New topic. I was just had another, another class. I'm going to erase that because you are physics, the physics of falling, stay, thank you, okay, there's a few more, who else do I got, I get Felina, this Sedan, um, Santiago, I did say your name, you are here and I got you listed, thank you. Yep, good, got you, yep. Okay, anybody else, please let me know. Priya is here. Very good. What do we got? We got 11.35. Okay, what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and start class and you'll see me, I'm gonna put these on the floor and I'll just reach down and check people in as they join me. So as you join me, please put your name and say hi. That way I can give you some participation points as we go. So I'll leave my pen down here as well. Malin is here as well. Thank you, Malin. Anybody else while I'm reaching down there? Okay, as others join, I will 
Marla is there as well. Right. Good. Okay. I'll put others in in a minute. Okay, so let's get the general idea uh, underway, okay? So 9, E, and F, I've combined you because you're at the same spot, and I'll try and do videos at times when I hope you can both make it, okay? So I doubt we're going to meet by the end of the year. I could be wrong, but it's looking unlikely. So it's going to be online teaching only. Here's where we're at. We've totally finished up both classes with electromagnetic effects. Other than finishing your motor, that's okay. You understand the idea of it. So electromagnetic effects, we're done. That's a third or even more than a third of the semester course, okay? Um, again, if you're just joining us, say hi so I know who I've got here, please. Um, we still have two things to do, a short unit on optics, and that's going to include an online video, which I don't know if I've sent you that as well uh, or not yet, an online lab, a virtual lab that I'm going to have you do. And the other part of the course is nuclear physics. And there's so much about nuclear physics, I'll just try and cover as much as we can until the end of the year. There's a lot to know. For grading, it's assignments that I'll assign and then grade that you're going to turn in online. Please do not send me a picture through school email. It's really hard for me to grade them that way. Can you please try and upload it, ideally through like a Google document or and upload it through Google Classroom, please. That makes it a lot quicker for me. Otherwise, uh, it's just hours and hours of pulling up students' files. So really uh, challenging to grade you that way. Uh, Google Classroom makes it a lot easier for me. So. Um, that's what's up. And I'm going to give you points every time we have a live stream. I'll try and do one of these a week with uh, notes behind me. What I'd like you to do is find some paper to write on. And what I put on the whiteboard, I will try and have you uh, take us notes. OK, so please bring some note paper each time we meet up. And we're going to start in just a minute. Um, Lena says you can also scan stuff on notes on an iPhone. Exactly. Thank you, Lena. So help each other to figure out ways to, to scan it. You can use the, the video or the program Tiny Scanner. And there's another one of you that used another scanning program, whatever you can find to do so. Emily is there. Emily, give me your last name real quick. because I got two classes here. So your first and last name's very helpful. Emily, let's go. Thanks, Emily. Gotcha. I should have known that. Okay, anyone else, please say hi so I know you've joined up with our, our multi-class video. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So what we're talking about here, and I'm gonna look at my notes as we do stuff, is optics, okay? There's some terms that you might have had in an earlier class, and I got to find out if you've had them. Uh, Leah's here as well. Thank you, Leah. Leah B. Gotcha, Leah. So let's see. Let's see what you know. Okay. What's a prism do? So what do prisms do? Okay, uh, some a couple of you write an answer, please. What do prisms do? And as you're writing, I'll check in. Jason is here as well. Thank you, Jason. Anyone else, please say hi so I know you're here. Okay, prisms, what do they do? Let's get some answers. I got two great classes. So go ahead and write a couple quick things. Uh, ben writes, they break up light. Yes, they do. So.
And what they use breaks up lightly. Exactly. Good. A lot of you have it. Super. Good. And um, Magdalena points out it's like a triangle block of glass or plastic. She's exactly right. Good. And Kira mentions it breaks it up into the colors of a rainbow. Good. Exactly right. All of you. So it breaks up light using refraction. And I'm going to write it again over here. Refraction, you might have had this in German. It's like Lichtbrechung. Lichtbrechung, so refraction. And I see Riley's here as well. Thank you for saying hi. Riley is checked in. Okay. Um, so then we need to know, you'll see why we got to know this. I'm really getting to optics here, but what is refraction? What does it mean happens with light if refraction's going on? See if anybody can get this. So what is refraction? What does refraction do to light? Okay. And Magdalene is there. Um, it does. It bends the light when the light is bent by like glass. Good. So refraction is light bends as it slows down. When traveling through a denser substance. And I mean like denser than air. So we're talking about glass or plastic, okay? Yeah, a lot of you said light is bent. Good, exactly. Jason has it, Muriel too. So um, refraction. So light bends, uh, sorry, as light bends as it slows down, comma, when traveling through a denser substance. So we need to know that's what's going on. OK, so light travels fastest through uh, nothing, through a vacuum and still pretty darn fast through air. But when it hits glass or plastic, it slows down. And we're not talking about reflection. That's bouncing off. We're talking about it going through the glass, but going slower. OK. You're all right under here. Or right over here, yeah, you can still see. Like I'll say, glass instead of air. Okay, good. Let me just pause, let you catch up. And I'm hoping you can see that. I'll sort of tip it back and forth so the I guess you can see it okay. All right. Let's continue. So what I've got to show you is this little guy, for starters, and it's a, a lens. And that's what we're going to study mostly in this unit on optics. I see a couple others might have joined us. If you have, tell me hello so I know you're here and I can write you down for points for participation, okay, if you haven't done that yet. Okay, so um, 
Yeah, good. Yeah, Santiago comments that red light is deviated or bent uh, the least, right? And blue light the most, as it turns out. Okay, JL Galaxy, better tell me who you are. Give me your last name. Okay. And that period person. Ah, it's Julian L. Gotcha, Julian. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Good. Um, here we go. So I'm looking at my notes as I talk to you, which makes life rather complicated. I want to make sure I've covered what I need to. Refraction, lenses. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so so that's that's one type of lens. We're going to look at the two types in a second. But for starters, let's get some uses from you. So we're talking about lenses, and generally these are like glass or plastic. So lenses made of glass or plastic. There's lots of uses. So go ahead and tell me some. So type in what's something. Oh, I know I can use lenses for this. There's several right answers. So let's get you guys uh, communicating here. Projector, yeah, so an overhead projector, that's one. Projector. Thank you, Ben. Let's see what else we got. Oh, you guys are quick. Oh, I can hardly keep up. Uh, I've got a camera. I've got magnifying glass. I've got glasses. I'll try and write all these in a second. A lot of you writing glasses, good. So let's write glasses. Camera. Uh, we had someone said magnifying glass. All right, in German, a lupa is the word for that. Beautiful. Malek has a good one. Telescopes. Those are most of the ones I was thinking of. Let me go back. Mirrors, mirrors, Emily, would be reflection, reflection. So that's light bouncing off, but not bending, but not bending. This is a little different. Okay, so going through a projector, glasses uh, on a person. Um, it could be glasses or if they're made of plastic. Let's see if anybody said that. Stronger and weaker types of glasses. Yeah, um, true. Contact lenses. Some of you may be wearing them, and they are using refraction. They're using their lenses. So contact lenses. See if you can still see that. Yeah, you can. So um, I'd ask you to raise your hand if you wear glasses or contact lenses, but I wouldn't see it. So. I guess it doesn't really matter much, but I know some of you do, and that's fine. I did until uh, about 15 years ago, and then I got a surgery called LASIK surgery, which corrected my nearsightedness. We can talk about that um, maybe at another time. I see some questions or whatever. Um, if you have a question, please type it in. That's perfectly fine. Um, don't type in nonsense because then I have to block you, and that would be annoying. Ah, I've got my other Julian here, Julian K. Thank you, Julian. And hello, uh, welcome. Okay, um, so that's more or less the start. Let's talk about, with our time remaining, types of lenses. So here we go. 
By the way, if you're just joining us and you didn't write all this down, you can refer to the uh, video later and take a look at the board and write it down then, okay? But I need to get erasing so I can get to our next ideas here. All right? Okay, so here we go. Things are pretty tight here. Okay. Next week, I'm gonna have a new one of these whiteboards and a uh, new set of markers too. So I'll do all I can to help you uh, see things okay, all right? Good, and I got already ideas about the types of lenses, convex, concave, converging, super. Let's see what all those mean. Really good, thanks for looking those up. Everybody from Emily to Tony to Magdalena, to Marla, lots and lots of good responses. Amir and Jason. So let's see. Okay, so two types of lenses. Did you have this in in Grundschule in elementary, or why do some of you know this? A lot of times, my students don't know it because we only have it in the high school in you know ninth grade. So why do you know it? Okay, two types of lenses. Oh, Sarah's here. Sarah H. Good. Thank you, Sarah. I know some of you had trouble getting on. It's okay. She, okay, Noah, Noah Delv says he, he knows it from the reading. Good. A lot of you had it in the reading. Super. From the homework. Great. Uh-huh. From the book. Good. From the physics book. Yeah, great. Thank you, Emily and others. Okay, so um, two types. And each type has two names, which is helpful and, on the other hand, confusing. So it's um, the first type is called a converging lens. The shape of the sucker is convex. So if you've heard it called a convex lens, that's why. Okay, here it is. Ba -da -da -ba -da. All right. So I'll try and get as close to the camera here as I can. So you might notice it's thickest in the middle. You see that? Thickest in the middle and thinner on the sides. So I'm going to really try and draw it like that. So it is indeed convex in shape. And what happens is, let's assume we got some light from an object, okay? So here's object light. And here it comes. It's pretty far away, let's say. So it hits the lens like so. Okay. Then. It converges. Converge means that something does what? If things converge, think of like in math class, if things converge, what do they do? Noah Berry is there. Thank you, Noah. And Leah says, she thinks they did cover it from elementary and she knows it from the book. And uh, Tony says they come together and Julian uh, L says they combine. Exactly, good, Natalie as well. So that's what's gonna happen with light. So it's gonna, the, the one in the middle just goes straight through because it's flat right in the middle. But the other ones bend and then they combine in. So these other rays uh, refract a little bit so they bend and that's bending as well as it hits the glass and they all meet here i'll make a big dot there and that spot is called f and so the light converges to the
to the eh point. Let's see if you note it from the reading. So it converges to the mm -hmm point. And then I'm gonna try and show you with that sort of lens. Yep, it meets. And Emily's got when parallel rays of light pass through the refracted rays converge at one point. Call the principal focus. Good. So it's called the focal point. Focal point. It's two words. I'm sorry I squeezed them together. I didn't mean to. Focal point. Yeah. Good. I'm going to try a little experiment with you, and I'm going to try and show you a focal point. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But what I'm going to do, good. Several of you knew that, including Noah and Leah Dynamite. I'm going to take this lens, and I'm going to try and show you the focal point right here. Now, I can kind of do it because I've got a very bright light behind you, uh, behind the computer. And I'm going to try and make that bright light. It's a very small, dense light. And I'm going to show you if I can here. Oh, man, that's hard. Maybe I need to move you. Okay, everybody hold still. I'm going to try and move you over a little bit. All righty. Okay, so, yeah, that's going to work. So watch when I put this towards the screen, okay? See where I get a really bright light right here? At first, it's sort of out of focus, and then it's really focused to a bright spot. And then as I get closer, uh, you can't see it, but it kind of gets out of focus again. Yeah, you kind of can't see it, actually. So I want it right there at its most intense. Less intense, less intense, less intense, right there. So that distance now from the lens to where that the rays of light join together right here in our diagram, okay? That distance is called the focal, hmm. See if you know it from the reading. I'm gonna put you back. Don't get dizzy. And Dominic points out, yes, that's how you can make fire. It's right. With the magnifying glass, you use the focal point where all the light combines. It gets really hot there. Uh, luckily, not with all lenses like eyeglasses. But, yeah, so that distance is the focal length. We use a small f in physics for that. Focal length. Super, good. Let me look at your comments. A lot of you got that, including Riley and others. Very good. Lucy as well, super. Okay, as well as Lee. Okay, um, let's continue. So that was one type of lens. Let's get the second type because I'm getting carried away here. I actually wanted to tell you about that later, but that's all right, we did it now, okay? Well, if things don't, Converge, what's the opposite of converging? Everyone is spamming the answer as well. Okay. So be it. What's the opposite of, of converging? Sarah has it. Thank you, Sarah. So does Kira. Divergent. So this is a diverging lens. I'm going to show you one. Here it is. And notice as I turn it, it's thickest at the edges, thinnest in the middle. I'll try and turn it to give you kind of a 3D look at the thing, all right? It's not flat. In fact, the shape diverges exactly. Uh, right, Riley. So. The shape is not con 
vex, but another word. Con, mm-hmm. thank you, Dominic, concave. So they're sometimes called concave lenses, but the official name is a diverging lens. Let's see why it's called that. Okay, so the shape, ooh, a lot of you got that, including Noah Berry. Good. Uh, the shape, uh, you still can see? Yeah, I think you can. I'll try and, I know that's annoying, that shine. Yeah, I can't do much about it. I will move back and forth so you can see, I hope. Okay, let's kind of draw this sucker. So here we go. So going to be like this. All right. And now we're going to do the same thing. Let's put some rays of light. And I'm glad a lot of you remember this from the book. And the middle one where it's flat, it just goes straight through, but up, 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 up. It's going on forever. But this one, now because it gets thicker, it bends the light, but it bends it away, doesn't it? And this one, let's say it actually is going through it, bends it even more. And this one goes through and bends it a bit away. And this one bends it even more away. So we get a real diverging of rays. They really go apart on the other side. And you might say to yourself, hey, what good is that? But you know what? There's some really good things you can do with divergent lenses. Some of the um, uses you gave me for lenses are not just for converging, but for diverging lenses too. Okay. Now, and you might say, well, this one, Mr. Wise, this one doesn't have a focal point, but it does. So I'm going to try and move this sucker over a little bit so you can see it better. Yeah, about like that. Let's hope it doesn't fall over on me again. And here's what we're going to do. The focal point is not over here. They don't come together over there. But what you do is you send these little rays back to where they came from. Watch this. So I'm going to like move this guy here. This guy here, and this guy here. And I'm using another color on purpose. You may want to use another color. And this guy here, and the black ray in the middle, straight one. And by golly, where they all join on the same side as the object with the light, that is the focal point. So that is F right here. Okay, so that's the focal point for a diverging lens. Weird. Let's see if you got some comments that I need to share with others. Yeah, Marilyn has said it in a good way. It's in front of the lens instead of behind the lens, back behind it. Good way to say it. Hey, Ali's there. Ali, thank you. Good. Any others, if you've joined us, please also say hello so I can write you down for, for points. Okay. Um, what was I saying here? Yeah, so it's on the same side. And Santiago mentions a good thing. Diverging lenses are used in flashlights, right? Because you want the light to go out. That's a really good, like I'm going to write that here. Diverging lenses, we can write, hey, in a flashlight, whoa. I like that a lot. Nice. And in projectors, ah, point out, good point, Magdalena. Yeah, flashlight and projectors too, because they've got to make something bigger too. Project. 
doors. Yeah. Good. You guys are thinking. Tom is on. Thank you, Tom. I'm bending over because my books are down there to check you in, okay? Anybody else, let me know if you joined us. I know it's hard the first time. Um, ben adds in, in binoculars as well. We'll look at binoculars uh, at another time. Microscopes, uh, some of the lenses there. Um, so the focal point is near the object. Yes, Leia, that's right. So the focal point's back here. The object would be back here somewhere. Right, oh, good. Hey, Shilpa's there too. Wait, where is the focal point? Oh, the focal point's right here, Lena. So right there. Let me write down Shilpa. Okay, um, Oliver writes, are converging lenses used to focus cameras? Yep, they are. And Dominic, so the focal length is again, the distance between F and the lens. You got it. So this time, my diagram's a big mess. Let's go back up here. So from the middle of the lens, this one's not so messy. From the middle of the lens to there, that's the focal length, okay? And it's the same down here. I'm not gonna draw because it's such a mess, but, um, Dominic is right. So it's it's the F to the middle of the lens, that distance. Obviously, it's a little shorter than in the lens up here. That distance is the focal length. And different lenses have different focal lengths. So it just depends what, uh, what they want. And Riley says, when we go back to school, will we do experiments with this? Yain, I hope so, Riley. If I see you guys by the end of the year, definitely. If not, then not. What I will do is I'm gonna do a virtual lab and send that as your part of your next assignment, probably over a couple of weeks. And uh, then you'll get at least some experience indirectly with it, okay? All right, um, exactly, Ollie. Okay, uh, Maurice is here. Thank you, Maurice. Thanks everybody, by the way, so far for both your participation, that really helps me as a teacher because otherwise I'm just sitting in a room in my basement, <laughs> okay? Um, and for, for, for joining, and I know it's uh, technology, you're probably a lot quicker at it than I am, and I appreciate you getting on, okay. Why is the focal length shorter than in the concave lens? Uh, I just drew it that way. I didn't mean to uh, draw it so different, Magdalena, but uh, that one's a little shorter than this one. And uh, in my real lenses I have, I have no idea what the focal length is for this one because it's really hard to measure without an awful lot of uh, measurements in the lab, which I may show you how to do, but we'll see. Okay, uh, any other questions? Let's see. Uh, so the focal length is positive for one and negative for the other. Oh, you are so good, Kira, thank you very much. So the focal length here, so for converging lens, we can write here, F is positive. And for the focal length for diverging, thank you, Kira, the F is a negative number. That's how physics shows it's on the same side as the object, what Magdalena asked about earlier, okay? We show with a negative number, and if the uh, focal length is on the other side of the lens, then it's a positive number. Super, appreciate it. Oh, I got a lot of comments from you. Whew. Okay, let me read them first. Uh, I like that, don't worry. Uh, Shilpa asks, are we gonna have online test? No, you're gonna have assignments, but I don't think I'm gonna try and do any online test with you. I just, uh, Doubt that's going to happen, but we'll have points from the live streams and from assignments that I assign you. That may be about it. We'll see if we get back to school before the end of June or not. Okay, um, is the focal length always the same? No, it can vary, Leah. 
And it can vary just depending on the thickness of the lens and the shape of the lens, as you know. Okay. Are there limits to how close or how far the focal length can be given a certain diameter of lens? Um, Natalie, it's a really good question. I think the answer is probably yes. I don't know what those limits are, but it probably has to do with also the limits of shape, how for diverging, you can make it only so concave and have it still work. And for the other one, how round you can make it. So obviously like uh, I could really make it crazy round and I don't know if there's a limit to how perfectly that could work out. It's good questions. Any other questions from you so far? We're gonna do more with lenses next time. Okay, while you're thinking, let me check my notes and look at what else I wanted to do with you today. Okay, we need some definitions and I think we got just enough time for that. So here we go. Oh, but we don't have any space. Tag nab it, let me erase, hold on. Again, if you don't get all this, it'll be on the YouTube video, okay? So you can still get your notes that way. For those just joining us, again, just take notes each week when we do a live stream. That's really all I ask you to do. Would a sphere work? Yes, Magdalena, I've seen a sphere, a total sphere lens, so that is possible, sphere of glass. It's almost like a sphere of glass would be like, you ever see those old, like a witch that has like a glass they look in? Well, it's acting like a lens. Does a pyramid lens count? I don't know what a pyramid lens is. You may have to send me a, an email about that, uh, Santiago. Uh, Prism, I, I don't know if that's it or not. Okay, so. Let's see what we got. I got two for, two uh, two things you need. Okay, here, so we here we go. All right. So next time we're gonna put up a uh, an object, and our object's gonna be a lit candle. I'm gonna try and do this with you here. Hopefully, I won't burn the house down. So my candle. Next time when I see you, it's going to be my object. I'm going to have a lens and the lens. Okay, uh, by the way, I don't want too much chitter chatter that's not about physics, or I may block you, which you probably don't want. So keep it kind of on the subject. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. I've got here then a lens. Let's say. It's this shape. And then over here, I'm going to put a screen, and that screen is going to be where I can focus my object. Okay. So there we go. Let's get our two. We got just enough time. From here to here, from the object to the middle of the lens is called the DO. And it's a that it's a distance, right? So from the middle of the candle, middle of the object to the middle of the lens. That's DO. Then the other one is from the middle of the lens to where the object is here, we're going to draw the object next time once we look at it. And that's going to be DI. Okay, so DO and DI. I know I'm running out of time, and we're going to define them next time because you might have another video. So I'll put a line right there DO and DI. And we'll continue next time. So thank you for tuning in. I'll get you an assignment. Um, let those who weren't here know that uh, they need to watch the video to get points and then let me know that they've watched the video.
Thank you, gang. Thanks for participating so well. And I'll schedule one for next week and I'll let you know on Google Classroom. Stay healthy. Bye.